this is a complete off-grid 12 volt solar power system budget friendly version got your battery inverter and your charge controller all you need is to hook up solar panels and you're good to go so we're using a watt cycle 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium ion phosphate battery this is the standard version it holds about 1280 watt hours and has its own built-in overcurrent protection if you want to know more about this particular battery you can check out my review right here let's move on these are one gauge cables mounted on the positive and the negative terminals of the battery you can buy them pre-made or you can make them yourself no problem and they are connected to the inverter terminals right there your positive and your negative now this inverter is a budget friendly pure sine wave inverter with a 4000 watt peak output 2000 watt continuous if you can you should always opt for a pure sine wave inverter it, it provides clean power which makes it safe for sensitive electronics compared to a modified sine wave or a square wave inverter the pure sine wave ones are more efficient reduces the wasted energy and prevents overheating and the weird buzzing sound in your appliances all you do is start the inverter plug in your appliances or an extension cord which would be pretty cool if you could mount an extension cord right after the inverter make room for more more appliances now like you probably noticed this battery can handle about 1200 watts continuous for one hour this is a 2000 watt continuous inverter what you could do is to parallel another battery with this one to double your capacity to make it a better fit for this particular inverter or itself a smaller inverter like a 1500 watt or a thousand watt inverter which would be a better fit for one battery if you want to know how to efficiently parallel connect two batteries check out this video right here after this video of course as for charging this system i have mounted the battery power mppt solar charge controller connected through the inverter positive right here and negative right here and it goes down to the battery also installed an inline fuse to protect the equipment and it's ready to go what's cool about this charge controller is that it's also app controlled through bluetooth and if you want to you can see my review of this charge controller right here all you got to do now is to mount your solar panels right here this charge controller can handle 300 watts of solar input now as you expand your battery bank you would probably want a larger charge controller to handle more panels as you can see in this scenario we have wired everything together at the inverter terminals which is fine for a small setup like this but you could easily mount a couple of bus bars 
right here, which would be cool. Battery disconnect switch. If you wanted to, could be handy if you were to work on your system to disconnect your batteries easily. Combined with an ANL fuse for this system for more protection. Alternatively, you can add a automatic DC circuit breaker, which would act as a disconnect as well. I will leave links in the description if you want to check out these components. Now, if you wanted to add 12 volt appliances or some 12 volt lighting into this system, it could be done easily. If it were one circuit, just add positive and negative cables for the lights right to the battery or wire up a bus bar system right there and install a fuse block like this there your positive right here and negative right there and your positive and negative wires right there add your properly sized fuses in these slots and you are ready to go I will leave affiliate links in the description below if you want to check out each component for yourself. Please like the video if you found it to be helpful and or subscribe if you haven't already. It will really support my channel. And if you want to learn more, you, could, you should check out my beginner's guide. On Amazon I leave a link in the description check out these two videos next because YouTube is telling you to and I'll see you in the next one